Hey guys, welcome back. Another episode of Aussie Farming in Philippines. Well, it's an hour after the baby's, baby's being born. All that heat, sunshine, and we've just got hit by a hard one. We've seen it coming through, so we've got all the babies inside. Got uh, the goats in just as it started. And palm from falling down everywhere. This one's hitting very hard, very hard. Holy duty. Look at my control. Oh, look at that. Oh. oh, there's no power. The power's gone off. Can't even remote control for the roller door. Fuck! But um, it's certainly coming down. Now, this was not expected at all. Look at it. This was not expected. That bloody tree there. Oh, that's the tree. Oh, it's going. That's the one that worries me all the time. That tree. Oh, look at it. They're the ones I said they will come down on our bloody house for sure. Look at it, look. I keep telling them, no one will fucking listen to me. As long as the winds keep blowing that way, I don't care. That will come down, hit our, hit our uh, hi-fi tower, it'll hit the maids room. Holy shit. I'm sick and tired of telling them to cut that fucking tree down. Look, there it goes, look, look. Go on, blow over your bastard. The bamboo is what's holding it up on the other side. Oh, look out. See this tree here? I don't know how many times. Break off, you bastard. Go on, go on, go on. Go on, that's it. Go, 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 you bastard. Oh, shit. There goes my fence. Well, them branches, they're falling down through over here. There's a rain falling out from the gutters, coming out the ground. Holy shit, look. Holy shit, where'd this come from? Oh my god, guys. This is a bloody hurricane from nowhere. Holy Christ. Go on, break you bastard. Holy shit. I don't know how strong them winds are guys, but I tell you, oh, there it goes. Don't fall this way, you bastard.
As long as the winds keep blowing that way, I'm happy. If it blows this way, I'm fucked. It's going to take us out. For sure. Jeez, I've never seen it this bad before, guys. God, everything's wet. The wind's turning, it's blowing it this way down, it's going to be a worry for me. Alright, power's on, getting the roller door down. Now look at that, the sun's starting to break through over here now. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? My God. Seriously. I don't know how the goddaughter went on their little house they built on the hill over here. I don't know how they went. I wish that had it come down, you know. See the branches all falling down on that fence. Ah, oh, shit. What a mess. Oh, bamboo's down all over here. All this bamboo's leaning right the way over. A lot of it cracked. And that, that was clear sky an hour ago. That was clear sky. Alright, we've got to see how much damage is done up the back. Oh, FMD guys. FMD. Well, just gotta wash. One good thing. I have never seen that in all the years we've been here. I've never seen that. You okay, girlfriend? Scare you? Hey, girlfriend? Scare you? All right, I'll give this a hose down for her. God, look at it all. Oh, fuck. Taking our treatment down at the back, look. That, that big tree, See all the branches come off it? Yeah, I was filming. Uh, tomorrow I'll go to the barangay. Tell them off. I've many times, more than a year now, to cut the one. I can then tell them. Is, uh, no, they, they branches. Have a buyer. Branches fell down onto the fence, so we have to repair all the fences across there. Yeah, and the coconut See, there. told you guys we've been complaining that much. No one fucking listened. Oh, look, this one's come down over here. Oh, well. well I say, the best thing about a storm, in my eyes, is a storm you can clean up you know when you have the bushfires like we have in australia like they have in california places like that everything's fucking gone everything is gone everything all you got is the clothes you're standing up in that's it you know but shit my bloody fence is strong in it hey eh? you wouldn't believe that aussie fence look how strong that is fnd guys oh look at the back Heaps of palms down over the back there. Oh, shit. Well, there you go, guys. Better get the chainsaw out, take the pressure off the fence. But um, that fucking rock RG's can't get much better strainer than that, can ya? Hey? Eh? All right, I'll go and get the chainsaw out and um, start get that one down anyway. Nothing's over this side. Now that was blue sky an hour and a half ago hour and a half ago, blue sky. So chick's pissed off, but she keeps telling to cut that fucking tree down. 
I'll get the chainsaw out, Bob, and cut that off the fence, okay? I'll get the chainsaw out to cut it off the fence, and we'll cut it up tomorrow. But I just want it off the fence. So, some more. All right, guys, I've got work to do. Be back at you later. All right. So what I've done is I cut two ends off the, the other side to um, cut the weight factor down. Then I'm um, just cut through here, cut them down on the V, cut them up underneath and just come off. But there wasn't much holding that on. Look, just around the outside, it was all hollow. And uh, there was only a few inches actually holding it on. That's all. But oh well, I'll cut him up tomorrow. It's one thing, one thing I always make sure of is that the chainsaws, after I use them, I service them up, pressure clean them down, blow dry them down with the uh, air compressor, sharpen up the uh, blades on the electric sharpening machine, oil everything up and put it away in um, dry dock. So when I need it, like cases like this, I've got a fully sharpened chain. But, um, oh look, oh look at Elf. This is Alfredo's banana plantation. He's got a lot down. He's got a lot down. Yes. That's money, see? It's a lot of money loss. No, that lucky those who have done their rice fields, because otherwise the rice fields would be totally blown over. Those who haven't done it already. But uh, most of them should have harvested by now. Should have. All right, let's go around the front. Oh, what's this old lid? This is the old roof we had on a chicken house we give to Wilfredo, we put over here. That's blown off and come into the fence. That's all right. Let's go down the front. Well, so we're at the front of the house now. Now see all this, this is just grass here. So we don't, you know what I was talking about when I said about the rice paddies. They would be absolutely laying down. Absolutely laying down. Well, things look pretty good around the front here. Oh, there's was well, trying to break through the sun, but now it's, it's gone. It's just raining, raining, raining. Well, I said I'd rather, I'd rather have a storm than a uh, bushfire, guys. Nothing survives in a bushfire. Absolutely nothing. You've got plenty of ash for the fucking garden, but that's about it. You know, that's about it. Oh, the front's okay. Oh, this little branch down on the um, date palm, that's nothing. That's nothing at all. Oh. I guarantee the rest of the community would have been hit hard. All right. Let's go back up and see. Absolutely incredible, guys. Like, when I come down here, Wilfredo was supported the 12 come down and pick up his um, coffee cups and all that that I give him for Smoko. And uh, like I said, it was boiling, it was roasting. I had to have a shower before I had my cat nap. I had to have a shower, change the clothes. <sighs> oh well, kind of bad luck, can you? The goddaughter's house on the hill, I don't think they're home because they've still got clothes on the line and they've got the curtains hanging up. I don't think they were home. So I hope their house didn't get flooded up on the hill there. So we'll go down and see what happened down the back with that, um, that bloody tree. Oh, well, Chick will go again and complain again tomorrow. Seriously, guys, no one does fuck all here. You know, no one cares. It's like I've got a job with the government, so, you know. And now, in the, if you can get a job over 30 years old in the Philippines, if you're over 30, you're bloody lucky. That's why these government people, they stay there till they fucking die. You know, absolutely stay there till they die. It's all the bamboos blown over. Uh. Woo. Look at that. And there's that big bitch there. See, that will come down and take out our antennas for sure. We'll take out the motor room. Oh, I'll just get cleaned up tomorrow. Redo the fence. Look at that, just snapped off. Look at that. Just a good three inches solid. Good three inch solid. I hope her house is all right up there. FMD, guys. FMD. Well, do it tomorrow. 
but too late now, got to get the animals fed, cleaned up. Oh. Look at this bloody mowed all this place down too. What a bastard, hey? What a bastard. It was funny because yesterday afternoon we got the same thing come through, as in just light rains, you know? And I said to the chick, fuck me, sunshine an hour ago, now we've got the light rains. And um, so we said, but the good positive side is this is good for the farmers, you know, it's good for Willie over the road that it uh, waters his vegetables for him. You know, so we said, look at the positive side, you know, that's good, blah, blah, blah. Right. So this bamboo's down. This ba I have to cut that early while it's green because when it dries out, it's a bitch to cut. An absolute bitch to cut. Uh, all right, Piggy, coming now, darling. Oh, well. Oh, well. Like I said, lucky it wasn't a fire. That's one good thing, guys. Well, my buildings held out with the high winds, didn't they? Look at them, nothing wrong. And they say the Aussie builders are fuckwit, eh? Well, I tell you, boys and girls, this is solid. Look at them all. Ha! Huh? Stick that up your ass, trolls. All right, guys, we gotta say goodbye. Got a lot to do, get all the animals done. Thank you a lot for watching and um, God bless.